Just bounce to this. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to part two of our hologram series. So uh, we just got the first element down and done. Uh, pretty simple. What we want to do now is just add some different types of lines. So um, again, this is going to be really simple. I'm going to hide my camera. And we're just going to draw a straight line. So what we can do is just turn on our snaps in Cinema. And let's go ahead and just turn on the work plane snap and the grid point and we can just make a straight line coming through uh, to there let's see actually we could probably get this a little bit better let's grab this guy and kind of pace it out so that it's even on both sides alright and then we could add another grid point here and here just by holding control and clicking on the line and we can go ahead and duplicate that spline and what I want to do is just um, come in here and delete so I'm gonna move around to my point tool again and we can get rid of this uh, line let's see it'll be a little bit easier if I can just grab that and then grab those okay so that they're even um, on both sides so just duplicating them and, and splitting them up and let's go ahead and jump into our perspective view and I accidentally moved our camera I do that all the time so uh, one thing you can do is just add a protection tag so let's put it back to zero and let's come down here add a protection tag and let's save our scene because we haven't done that yet so let's go ahead and save this out I'm gonna call this one hologram and what we need to do is just sweep a um, shape around these splines so let's just grab this guy and again hold alt and grab the sweep and then we want to just get a simple rectangle and sweep that shape uh, we can turn off our live viewer I didn't even notice I still had that on and we can scale that down something like something like that and then we'll just copy it over to the other one uh, let's make this a little thinner so easy enough we just need to collapse uh, the rectangle and then we just need to see which line which vertice I should say will make it scale down so it looks like it's that guy so we got these two and we're making them uh, a little bit thinner and that will make it thinner in the Z okay so we can get rid of it and recopy it by holding control and dropping that in and then we can create some more um, arc type shapes for the front so let's grab those and put them in there kind of move them forward and we can start messing with the uh, end angle so we could do like one that's 270 and then holding control and clicking and dragging uh, we can make this like let's say 180 uh, again control clicking and dragging and let's say something like the start angle will be like 360 and let's just kind of move this around to 90 so you can make them uh, look however you want uh, we can go into the front angle and make sure that we scale these so that they look interesting and maybe this one's a little bit smaller so kind of the only outside portion and uh, yeah just have fun with these kind of scale them up and move them around however you like and just keep tweaking till you find something that looks pretty cool it looks like a cool design okay maybe just something like that um, we can throw all of these into their own sweeps uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick just holding alt and going up to the sweep button and putting them into their own and then I can recycle the rectangle shape and so that everything has the same width okay awesome looks pretty cool and let's just go ahead and zero out the actual position of the arcs okay so 
It looks like they are, so it's going to be on the sweeps. There we go. Okay, so we have some more elements made. Uh, let's go ahead and add one more to this. Uh, we're going to add the uh, kind of the tendril shape. So it's really simple. Uh, all it is is a sphere, and we can collapse this sphere and start grabbing some of these bottom portions here. So some of these guys extrude it and you see if we use the extrude tool it comes out at an angle from the normal of this edge so what we need to do is just kind of click and drag um, we could even go up and then we could just grab our move tool and make sure that it comes straight down and then we need to zero out those faces on the bottom and we can do that here in the size portion so uh, let's go back into object mode and scale it down pretty significantly these are going to be really tiny kind of small we can reuse, let's go ahead and just collapse this, uh, sorry, let's go ahead and just name this uh, line sweep a one and we can grab that name and paste it and call that O2 and then we could put these into their own group by selecting them and Alt G and saying uh, Arc GRP, so Arc Group and let's go ahead and grab the uh, on second thought, it's okay. We'll just create a new sphere because we can go ahead and just change this um, from, let's see, standard to hemisphere and change the actual rotation of that so it's like at 90 and then come into the side view or I should say the front view and make sure that it's around the same size and we can start to uh, clone the tendrils onto this portion here so let's collapse this shape and we want to grab a new let's just use the octane scatter uh, I showed you guys how to do it with a cloner of course it's pretty simple but um, I like using the scatters because they render pretty quick and this is going to be the tendril so let's rename that and this will be the uh, like the tendril sphere shape let's just rename that so we know exactly what it is and we can put this underneath of the new octane scatter name it tendril scatter and then go ahead and put the shape into there and we'll move this down in the list so we know that it's not rendering and then immediately we get some feedback so the line uh, here is going to be the actual size of the tendril so if we scale this down you can see the lines get smaller so something along the lines of that and we can come into the scatter and instead of the vertice, we can keep it all nice and neat um, like so. Or we could change it from uh, vertex, vertex to surface and that will give us a lot more. But they'll kind of just grow on the surface themselves. So um, let's just use the vertice. So as many vertices as there were, were on the sphere, you will see a tendril in its place. And I think that will be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make that shape be a little bit larger. So the tendril shape, we'll kind of grow that out. And we'll see again what that looks like from our camera. Okay, so let's kind of make it a little bit bigger. And then we can grab the tendril and make those kind of small. Uh, maybe something like that. Okay, cool. So I think that does it for just blocking out the shape of the hologram um, of these different assets. What we'll do in the next one is just kind of uh, tweak a little bit more. Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, checking this one out. Definitely leave it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all our other videos. But thanks a lot. It'll do it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.